hi guys yeah welcome back again to the channel it's your boy sunny media hmm guys i'm sorry for keeping you long yes um because i've been busy you know selling my indomie i don't know whether you are aware of my indomie story the one i i the one i brought from nigeria to ghana do you know about the story so if you know about the story of the indomie so you should know the reason why I've stayed so long from you know uploading videos. So I've been busy, you know, selling those in the me. One, 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 one. Guess what, guys? That is the good news for you. But before we I tell you the good news, guys, I, let me drop the topic we are going to discuss today. The, the topic is about the wrong information I had about Ghanaians the time I came to Ghana uh, newly. You know, I came to Ghana in uh, 2016. I was told that if a Ghana person and a Nigerian person is having an issue, he gets. And if a Ghanaian person, if Ghanaians came into the matter, into the issue, he gets. And if if Ghanaians discover that this person is a Ghanaian, even if that person, even if that Ghanaian is, is is wrong in that situation, they will, you know, join their brothers and attack the nigeria um that was the information i i was told and they said that this is how it is going here in ghana so and i said okay i will be staying to see if i will see such you know whether i will see such uh, energy you know that kind of thing you get whether i will experience it by myself you get so guys i'm going to i'm going to tell you what i have experienced but before that, let me show you something, guys. I'm coming. Baby, come, 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 come. Guys, take a look. Take a look at this, guys. The whole Indomie left with only this one. This one alone left. <laughs> Congratulations to me, guys. Clap for me. Clap for me. I did well. I sold it one, 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 like, like this. Imagine. I don't, do you know the Indomie story? I don't know whether you know about the Indomie story, guys. Okay, let me, in case of those who missed that Indomie story, that my Indomie story I narrated in my previous video. You know, if you have not watched the video, please can go and watch the video, guys. Where I talk. Okay. Sorry. Where I. Uh, I talk about how I brought this indomie from Nigeria to Ghana. You get so somebody who has been watching my videos on YouTube told me to like ask me which type of goods would I bring for him from Nigeria. And I asked him what type of business do you need you want me to bring because what I'm doing is that if you say some people will say it's cream. Yeah, like they want cream you get then they will list out the types of cream they want they will give us the list then we'll go to nigeria and buy them if it's cheap then that if we check it like like when after transporting it from nigeria to ghana that we still get something from it then we'll buy it some people will say indomie some people will say motor spare parts some people will say a theory material, so, so you know, don't every anything. So people, so people even say clothes, like um, materials for sewing clothes, you know, different things. So I ask this person, what do you need? You say he needs indomie. He gets uh, so, and I asked him, and I told him, um, like, okay, I'll buy it with my money. Then when I, when the indomie gets here in Ghana, then we'll check. Within a week, he pay me the whole money. He agreed. We agreed on that. Yes. So I got in the eighty-two cartons. See, like this. This is a carton. Super pack. The medium size. You know, you know the medium size of the Indonesian. So super pack. So I got eighty. Eighty-two cartons. Uh -huh. And that it took cartons is fourteen thousand six hundred Ghana cities. You get fourteen thousand six hundred Ghana cities. So he got a shipper. He got a shipper. It's 
higher than that. I I saw this super for him. Just check it. You get that uh, super pack. They are selling it seven cities for one. The the biggest one is ten cities. They are selling it one one. But this one now, one of it is seven cities. They are selling it. This one is not the smallest one. There's smallest one too. I don't. I didn't bring that one. So, um, I saw it for him. Imagine eighty eighty two. Uh, cartons of Indomie, uh, 14,600 series. So, but um, after that one week, we agreed that he would pay me the money. He couldn't pay the money. Yet he couldn't pay the money in that one week. And I called him, he said there's no money. Then I gave him another one week, making it two weeks. Then during that two weeks, I called him. Before the two weeks, I was calling him at CEO, the week, you know, <laughs> So when he goes to that week, and I call him, I'm coming to your shop to collect the money. So he say, oh, no, don't come, don't come, don't come, don't come, I shouldn't come. <laughs> the person was, is also speaking French. I don't know whether he's, a, he's from Kutunu, he's from Togo or Abidjan, like, you know, what I know that he speaks French and also speaks Shri very well. So I don't know whether, whether he's a fully Ghanaian or half-half or, you know, but what I know is that he um, owns a shop, a Ghanaian, because it's only Ghanaians that have the right to own shop here in Ghana. So he said that there's no money that I shouldn't come. And I said, what? No, there's no way. I'm going there. I went to his shop surprisingly, that's uninformed. And I blew and behold, and I saw people offloading Indomie, <laughs> the same Indomie. In his shop from one car like that floating it in his shop and i discovered that he has sold all my own that 82 cartons he has finished selling them and he had the money in hand that he wanted to give me before that guy indomie's own arrived he get so and he wanted to buy that indomie too because it's scarce these days so and um, the guy the question says that he will not say in credit, on credit is cash, cash and carry. He's also a Nigerian person, so we are all dealing, you know, we are, it's, it's just like competition. <laughs> so, but it's, it's his own, he said he's not selling on credit, it's cash. And this, my customer, really need that, he really needs that in Then yeah, he said for him to give me that my money, he uses the money he's supposed to give me to buy that one. The guy said he's selling cash. Buy it. Give that guy money. So they are now offloading the the whole goods in his shop. And that time they are offloading the goods in his shop. I came and I asked the my Nigerian guy uh, secretly, has this man paid you for the interview? He said, Ah, yes. Now I I, I have told him already that I don't sell credit. Yeah, he has paid complete. I said, Wow. Then I met the man. Oh, you. Pay the man, this my brother, cash. But me, he couldn't even give me half of the money. So you know what? All things on me that are offloading here, I'm going to take my Indomie 82 cartons of Indomie. Below and behold, the same um, quantity. You know, I collected all in his presence. And I called um, this uh, Boboya. Then I went outside and called Aboboya to come. The guy helped me in taking the Indomie and putting it inside the bubble here. Yeah. Some Ghanaians supported me. This is the basis of my discussion today. Let's discuss about what brought me here today, guys. Let me keep this Indomie and let's come back and talk. Yeah, baby, stay here. Stay back. Yeah. We're coming. So, Ghanaians who were around that time, they, were, they all came around, gathered, to listen to the, what happened. The man was like telling them to go to their various shops, because to, that this matter doesn't concern them. <laughs> you see, I was forced to say, to tell them that, I told them that, oh, let me explain to you guys. I want you guys to know what is going on. Don't worry. Then they paid attention. I start talking. Explain, 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 explain. Then they try to ask now my customer, is this thing 
this boy is saying is to he couldn't mind them he went inside the shop he didn't mind them so they all supported me and said i want to carry my goods right i said yes they all helped me <laughs> this one will carry they were all helping me to carry the i was so busy like i was so like it, it gave me the courage like more energy because people supported the idea so they all helped me carry my this thing and load inside the um, this thing for a year so and i told the man please my my indomies they are 82 now they are complete so i am i've taken my indomie you don't owe me anymore i don't owe you bye bye see you soon so um, bye bye you know see you soon again <laughs> see you soon okay so i collected windomi and and drove so the reason why i brought this topic is because of that wrong information i got from people saying that if you are having if you are a nigerian you are having issues with a Ghanaian, and if Ghanaian came around that place and they discover that you are nigerian they will automatically support their brother because they can. <laughs> so i found this information to be wrong so in this my case now it shows me that that information i got is wrong was was wrong so because because i've experienced this now live and direct with my kuro kuro eyes this one is not like i've experienced it i've seen that Ghanaians they did not support the man despite him being their fellow Ghanaians, he did not uh, they did not support him at all you know by telling me oh go go for out of this shop you know they did not do that they supported me knowing fully that he he wronged me like he did not treat me well so the way he's supposed to treat me you know because i accepted to give him the uh, the goods on credit then the other person that said that he doesn't want to say credit like this one is for cash and carry he now paid the person and left me behind you know so they supported me and allowed me and helped me to carry those goods and inside my then i drove so that is why i'm telling you guys i've experienced it that information is wrong so if you're nigerian out there or if you're foreign out there and you have gotten this kind of information know it that is wrong i've experienced it and i found that the information is wrong if Ghanaians they see some case you are having maybe being it a foreigner with your with their fellow Ghanaians, when they reason about the case if their fellow Ghanaians is wrong they don't support them they will tell them in their phone that sorry what he did to this person is wrong yes so that is the pure truth because i have experienced it that's why i'm telling you so guys thank you thank you guys for all of you that um encouraged me in the comment section about how to deal with customers next time like i some people said i should be taking advance like they will pay money first i used that is what i used to do it but this particular person we wish with some certain agreement like he begged me to give to him like one more time he's going to pay me all the money so we agreed so i don't normally say my market like that so i can send my market to you you pay advance like half of your money then we agree that okay this is the pay i will come and collect your money one that's how i do but this particular person because so he has been following me on youtube subscribed watching my videos you know from there then i just show him that kind of favor you know so that i gave him so that uh, within that um one week he said then but <laughs> you see what happened now but i'm grateful to god guys seriously i've been thinking on how i will sell this in you know, me like i've been thinking hey, how will i do this you get because nobody ordered for it except him the man that ordered it nobody because i don't buy good with that person ordering we must order before i buy so that once i'm buying it i know where i'm taking it to this one is not like um i'll just buy goods randomly no, no no i don't buy goods randomly before i buy anything somebody must have ordered for it 
that's how I do, and I supply. You get so now that I have taken the whole goods from him and nobody ordered, hey, I was like, well, how will I be doing this? How will I sell this? Then, by the time I got home, I packed the whole thing in, in, in my place, and I started going one by one, shops by shops, shops by shops. Hmm. All the people selling provisions. This is my leg, it don't suffer. <laughs> this is my leg. <laughs> you don't hear when. <laughs> so they're going shop by shop, shop by shop, one by one. All the people selling provisions. Hey, do you need indomie? Okay. Huh. Anybody I ask like this, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, I need indomie. Like, I think the season, this season is the season they really need indomie. Yo. Heck, I, I, some buy one carton. Some small shop, like small shop like that, you will just buy one. Some those selling a frying Indomie at the roadside, at the street, you know, in the evening like this, you know, in the night. People, uh, you know, uh, frying um, Indomies, eggs, and all this cheese, you know, that kind of thing. So some buy two cartons, some buy three, some buy one, two, three, four. Even one man even buy ten cartons. Yeah, I remember one big shop I bought ten. Oh, like that, like that, like that. Seven, 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 seven. Hey, oh my God! He left with only one. So I kept it there. Now the one that remains, I'll be you know, I'll be you know enjoying that one. So that one I will not sell it. I'll be eating it. So that was that. That's why I kept it there. I brought it from outside. It was outside. Everything was. Because I have uh, in the place I stay, I have big veranda, so where I pack those things, I cover it. So, but this one, I got it inside my room. I'm, you know, enjoying this one. <laughs> so this is how I was able to, you know, sell all of them. Yes. So that is why I'm kind of scarce. Yeah. Whenever my market enters like this, I usually get keep busy. Like. Coming to do video would be so difficult for me. Yes. So, is any time? Is only any time I get chance like I, I'm not having any market to supply or I'm not having anywhere to go to go and collect money. You know, I will be having time to upload videos. Yes. So, so guys, I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for you. I'm very grateful for my. For my lovely Ghanaians who supported me, who helped me, you know. Oh my God, I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for everybody. Yes, I'm grateful so much. Thank you so much for everything, for encouragement, for your words, for. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys. If there's anything you want to say regarding this video, you can let us know in the comment section. Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> if you have not subscribed yet, guys, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified time I drop a new video. Get notified. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this my video to share. I also give me a super thanks. There's a super thanks there. Give your boy a super thanks. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye for now. See you.